Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending September the 16th, 2022. We're about midway through the trading day. I have about four hours left in the trading day. And uh, we can see, you know, the FedEx report last night really, really set off fire alarms and uh, caused uh, concern about a global wide uh, recession because the CEO, Mr. Sabranium uh, of uh, FedEx, got on and said, look, you know, we've got shipping volumes that's really falling off. And we, uh, you know, to the extent that FedEx is a bellwether for, for global economies, then uh, he's, he's anticipating uh, severe cutbacks, about 20% cutbacks in the labor force, about, uh, you know, and, 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 and uh, volume to drop, shipping volume to drop, therefore uh, earnings levels were dropping, uh, you know, it intended to drop. So that doesn't bode well for future earnings uh, as, as we close up uh, the year as we go as we go that direction. So we will uh, we will see how prophetic that he turns out to be and how much of a bellwether that FedEx completely is. Several uh, previous Fed, uh, Federal Reserve uh, chiefs have or chairs have uh, completely relied upon uh, FedEx as a, a real good barometer in terms of making their rate hike decisions, okay, or, or setting rates. And uh, next week, you know, we are, we are just days away now from the next uh, interest rate hike. Perhaps that news comes in and filters in and trims back uh, the, the rate hike. Maybe instead of 75 basis points, maybe they stick with the 75 basis points, but maybe they don't go any further from that. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that, that works out next week. Because what you're seeing here, if people start following lockstep with FedEx, then, um, then uh, we, you know, you can see uh, several, you know, you know they're, if they're talking about layoffs, then that's going to ripple through the economy and other companies will start doing layoffs also. So you start seeing this employment number uh, really uh, uh, going down in terms of percentage points or the unemployment number increasing. That's uh, that would that would signal to the Fed that hey you know uh, inflation is going to be tapering off. So we'll see how it all falls out. It's sort of a one end feeds the other, but uh, uh, they've got a they've got a step down on inflation. However, if they go too far, then you could cause a severe uh, unintended uh, consequences. So that's kind of where we're at right now. As we sit here on the trading day, we're looking at. Uh, you, keeping our eye on levels that uh, for the S&P 500, if we get back down, you know, 3780, if uh, the next stop after that, uh, if they continue to fall, is 3650, okay, for the NASDAQ, uh, keep your eye on around that 11,000 number for the Dow, around 30,500, 30,400, it's still a little bit, it's still 150 points above that right now, uh, lowest, uh, the, the 29.9 range, you know, uh, there would be, we would have to, you know, really take a step back. Now, having said that, uh, remember that today is, uh, is sort of an anomaly uh, also because it's triple witching day. So what does that mean? Well, you've got your index options on index futures expiring today. So people have to rebalance for that. You've got the indexes, uh, uh, options that are, are expiring today. And then you have stock options that are expiring today. And the indexes have to rebalance uh, today be, <clears throat> due, to, due to all of these uh, particular uh, events. So you've got, you've got a lot of uh, transaction and selling that would go on anyway to cover uh, those options because they're expiring today. So that has some influence on this too. Not really down dramatically, a little bit over 1% on, on, on most of the indexes, but that's how it sells out. Now, hang on a second. I want to show you one of our models. That's how it's been doing throughout this whole process. Okay, so this is one of, this is one of our, our models that we, we have uh, created, and you can, this is a year-to-date performance, okay? So it's best correlated against the Russell 2000 so that's the benchmark index total return that we've compared it against for the year. So year to date from January 1 to today, September the 16th, 2022, actually uh, September the 15th, uh, 2022 would be the uh, close, the last closed uh, data that we have in here. So 
this model has outperformed the Russell 2000 by, you know, 34% roughly. Uh, so, so this is the kind of thing that you do now here. That's everybody wants. The, the, here's the deal. You got to be willing to accept some risk if you want that kind of return. Okay. It's the old adage. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Okay. And so here, here's the thing. If you look at this, there's a lot of volatility in this model as time goes by it ends up with an with a you know a very satisfactory result but uh but you gotta you, you gotta live with some of this along the way so the, and, and during this periods of volatility there it can get a little bit gut-wrenching <clears throat> okay so we use this for people with high risk tolerance uh, you have to have a stomach to take this kind of a roller coaster ride. The payday is obvious, okay, from you. Now, to the extent that you're saying, hey, wait a minute, Wally, you just, you just uh, cherry picking on this model. All right, let me show you what it's, uh, I'm gonna show you that I'm not. Hang on just a second. Okay, here's the same results just from the Jackson Hole speech until today. So uh, now we've compressed it from August of 26, 2022 till uh, close of business yesterday. All right. And so close of business yesterday, you see that that uh, the Jackson Hole speech had a had an impact on all sectors uh, of, of the market. And particularly, you know, the S and the, the, the uh, Russell 2000 ends up down 7% since August the 22nd. Now, this model has taken a hit <clears throat> but we're all not not even lost quite three percent from then. So if you compare that to the previous one, that's plus seventeen. The whole overall Russell two thousand year to date would be down seventeen and change. So this you know that's quite acceptable. Uh, even if you you're not used to volatility, if the if the indexes are off seven percent and you're only off a third of that, you know uh, two two point eight two percent. Uh, it's not not even quite a half. So uh, most people most people can tolerate that. Okay, of course the way that we manage it as time goes by, uh, we don't expose everybody to all that risk. But uh, generally, this particular model, as compared with the Russell two thousand on a year to date basis, has has captured ninety one percent of the Russell's up move. So if the Russell went up one percent, this this captured ninety one percent of that. And then if the, when the Russell fell 1%, this only our down capture was only uh, 41 cents, 41% uh, of that. So if it fells 1%, we're only 0.41% on the downside falling. So <clears throat> these, these components change in this model as time goes by. We have uh, tolerances and parameters set in there, but we're looking of the, you know, to pick the top winners, obviously, in order to get this type of performance. If you don't have, number one, forget the performance of this model. If you don't have an advisor who's showing you these types of options that are available to you, you don't have to put your entire portfolio in this. This is just, in, in, in practice, uh, just a sleeve, okay? Just a sliver of someone's uh, total portfolio. But, you know, when you get this type of performance, that, that compensates for other money that may just be sitting in cash, okay? Just imagine if you had 20% of your portfolio in this and and 80% uh, of your money in cash, you would still be feeling pretty well today. You don't have a lot of exposure to the market, but what do exposure you did have, it's working out fairly well for you. What I'm saying is, is that if you don't have an advisor that's giving you that type of options and is doing this type of research and giving you these kinds of results, then you need to give us a call, okay? Let us know. And uh, meanwhile, see you next week. Until then, stay happy. It's the key to longevity.